Okay, so in this video, uh, what I'm going to be doing is just installing uh, Windows Server 2019 into Kremu with the Vertio drivers. Um, basically, if you want to see some of the information about the install, what you can do is you can go to uh, my webpage, macpczone.co.uk, and if you click on Applications Used, and then find where it says Installing in Windows Server, 2019 and basically on there I've just got some some information the first bit of information that you need is actually the just in case you want to do an evaluation you need the sort of name of the evaluation disk and to get that what you can do is if you just um, just do a search on that and basically you'll find Sort of different places where you can sort of get hold of that particular download um, and then also the other thing you'll need is the, the Vertio uh, CD um, for if you you know for basically installing the driver so you just use that link um, yeah basically it'll it will just download the image directly from um, Fedora people because Red Hat are the ones who actually have prepared that Vertio driver. Um, all right, so basically I'm just going to get going on this. So the first thing I need to do is to create a, just an image that I'm going to be storing it on. And so then the next thing we do is just run this command just to, because the only reason it's here is just because someone said before they didn't have the command, even though it's not really be much use to them, but um, there it is anyway. And so when I run that, it'll basically start the Installation will start. All right. Just do American. Because it's an evaluation, it's only got the American language on it. Of course, we choose desktop experience because if you choose the one without the desktop, then basically you're just stuck to typing commands. And you'll notice that most tutorials on the internet are about the desktop one anyway, so they're just trying to copy like Unix, but most Windows people are going to want the desktop version anyway, no matter how much Microsoft is trying to, um, and, um, let me just check, let driver showing up, let me check that. I just remembered I forgot to Alright, hopefully I remember to edit the that command. Because the way I could tell that I hadn't um, put the Vertio in, it wasn't using Vertio. I mean, it's simply because the drive showed up. So that's how you can tell that you haven't actually set it up properly. Yeah, 
Alright, so what should happen is when we click here, you should have nothing. So basically we've got no drives. So what we have to do now is, is load the driver and then browse. And then if we go into the Vertio Win DVD, so what we want is your Vio, your Vio store. And basically, because um, they still haven't done one for 2016, but actually, uh, server 2016, sorry, 2019, it is actually just server 2016, because if you, when you install it, um, what you have to do is just compare the build number, or, well, I'm not sure about the build numbers, but there's something you can check and you notice it's, it's exactly the same as server 2016. So basically, as you can see, server 2016 drivers just will just work directly in 2019. And maybe some don't, but I know the storage drivers do anyway, or Vertio does. And so that's done. So you have to put some some sort of password in. And with Windows Server, I think you have to have a capital and a number. Okay, so that's um that's that install. And so basically even when you first install everything, it looks as if Microsoft just can't 
Use casting to get things right. There always has to be services which stops. Although, admittedly, they're all delayed starts. So I think you're gonna have to you have to wait a little while to see if they go away or not. Um, okay, so basically that's it. So that's server 2016 installed. Sorry, 2019 installed, and it's pretty much the same as. 2016. Notice it's version 1809, which is like, which is basically a Windows 10 build. So that's all, um, sort of server 2019 is. It's, it's just a, a specific build of, uh, Windows 10. Um, all right. So that's the end of that. And so in the next one, we'll be going through, uh, just how to, promote it to a domain controller because what I'm going to be doing is um, installing Exchange 2000 and, um, uh, 2019 onto this in a later video. Okay, see you for now. Bye.